So besides Love and Mercy and many other things like the last Hunger Games movie, guess what else happened to you in 2015? You directed Pitch Perfect 2. Which was such a humongous smash and I loved it so much, you know I did. What was your measure of success when that movie was coming out, you had finished it, what was in your mind like if this happens then it was a success? Well, it exceeded my expectations for sure, and um, I really, I wanted to, the fans to love it. You know, it's a sequel. It's really hard to make a comedy sequel that um, lives up to the, the first film. You, you only get to make a sequel if people love the first movie, and people really love Pitch Perfect, and um, that was my, my, my biggest concern was giving something to the fans that wouldn't take away from their feelings about Pitch Perfect. And so I'm, I'm mostly gratified that the fans love the movie. And I also was really happy with the $69 million that it opened to. Right, nice. <laughs> what are you most excited to do as you're preparing to direct Pitch Perfect 3? What's, what, what are you most jazzed about? Well, I don't want to tell you very much about what we're planning. Um, I know, Dave, you're trying to be tricky. I know, I, I know. I feel you're trying to be tricky. Uh, the cameos. I think I'm really excited to for figure out what the big cameos are going to be. Okay, yeah. I like that. That's enough of a tease. Mm -hmm. And then when you look back at this last year, you starred in and directed one of the two biggest franchises of the year, Pitch Perfect and The Hunger Games. And then you also had this incredible intimate performance in this beautiful smaller film. Is that kind of a perfect year for you? It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was tops. I can, I can always make more money. <laughs> Something to work on for next time. Thank you. Elizabeth Banks, ladies and gentlemen.